Hi, welcome to this demo of BGP Flow Spec, working on RT Bricks disaggregated routing software. As the internet reaches more people and more devices every day, DDoS attacks are becoming increasingly prevalent, and their impact can be significant. Fortunately, BGP Flow Spec is an effective mechanism to mitigate against DDoS attacks. Flow Spec allows network operators to distribute traffic filtering rules across their network using the BGP routing protocol. RTBRICS routing software stack supports both BGP IPv4 and IPv6 Flow Spec. Here we're going to demonstrate the BGP Flow Spec functionality, working on an open switch with a Cumrin 2C Broadcom chipset running RTBRICS software. Let's first see the topology used for the demo. We have two Cumrin 2C open switches. One is running an RT Brick Leaf software image. This switch is acting as a BNG, onboarding DHCP subscribers. It's connected to our BNG Blaster, which is an in house open source tool that can simulate large volumes of subscribers, layer 3 protocols, and traffic volumes. Here, the BNG Blaster simulates one DHCP subscriber, which is sending 10 megabits per second of both upstream and downstream traffic. The subscriber IP address, assigned here by the BNG, is 100.100.100.1. This BNG Leaf switch is connected to another common 2C device, which is running RT Bricks Spine software image. We have an IBGP connection between Leaf and Spine on network 10.1.1.1. The Spine router is also connected to the BNG Blaster, which is simulating a network interface to the internet. There's also a connection towards GoBGP from the Spine, where we run an eBGP neighborship on network 20.1.1.1. GoBGP simulates the real network analyzer in the network, which will detect the DDoS attacks and generate the flow spec rules. In this topology, we will assume that the subscriber is the source of the DDoS attack, detected by GoBGP, and we will see how we can mitigate the attack using flow spec in the RT Brick network. Let's look at the setup now. This is the leaf switch, which is acting as the BNG. The subscriber is not yet active. There is a BGP connection with the spine switch, which is connected to the flow spec originator, GoBGP, via an eBGP connection. Now, let's start simulating a subscriber from BNG Blaster. Let's look at the traffic. We have 10 megabits per second upstream and 10 megabits per second downstream, all of which is IPv4 traffic. We can see the subscriber now in the BNG box, or the leaf switch. Here you can see the details of the subscriber. We can see that the IPv4 address assigned to the subscriber is 100.100.100.1. Now, let's go back to the diagram and see how we're going to inject the flow spec rule using GoBGP. From GoBGP, first we will try to impact the upstream traffic by sending a rule, which says that whenever there is traffic that matches the source IP of the subscriber, the packet should be discarded. So, on receiving such a rule in the spine, it will install the ACL and then it will also send the BGP update to the leaf. Now the leaf switch also receives the update, and the leaf will start dropping the upstream traffic, because the upstream traffic is landing in the leaf first, before it even reaches the spine. Let's see whether this is happening in our setup. So, we will go to GoBGP and send a rule like this, as we were just describing. After sending this rule, the upstream traffic has become zero. So the upstream traffic has been completely removed by the network. Let's see where it's getting dropped, whether it's in the leaf or in the spine. If we come to the spine first, we use show BGP fib and IPv4 flow spec. We can see that one rule has come here. The command will give us more details. So, we have one ACL installed for that rule, which has an action of drop true. Now let's look at the leaf. We should have a similar rule here as well.
Yes, we do. We have a similar rule and if we look at the detail command of this, we can see that the packets are already starting to get discarded, and the counters are already shown here, which tell us that all the packets coming to this leaf are getting dropped. So, all the upstream traffic of the subscriber is dropped now. This is how FlowSpec allows the network operator to control the traffic and completely stop a DDoS attack. So now we will add one more rule. This is a more specific rule which says that the source address is the same, but the traffic protocol is UDP. We are going to rate limit, or police it, at 200 kilobits per second. So, we are going to send this rule from GoBGP, and the same thing should happen, but instead of dropping all of the traffic, now the upstream traffic should get policed at 200 kilobits per second. So, initially the traffic was completely discarded. Now what we do is to add a protocol. So, now the only upstream traffic which we are concerned with here is UDP. So, to stop it affecting all the traffic, we will enter 200 kilobits per second here. Now, if we look at the BNG blaster, you can see that the traffic coming in the upstream direction is policed at 200 kilobits per second. And looking at the RT brick routers, we can see that one more flow spec rule has been applied, and since this is more specific, and has one more match, it has higher priority. So this is the effect in the spine router. Let's also look at the leaf. Yes, we have a similar result here. So, we can see there are now two flow spec rules. Okay, now coming back to the diagram. Until now, we were seeing traffic getting affected in the upstream direction using a flow spec rule. We'll now check the downstream flow. In the downstream, we will inject a rule which says that whenever there is a traffic destination of 100.100.100.1, which is our subscriber IP, just drop it. So, this rule should get affected in the spine router, because downstream traffic is reaching the spine first, before the leaf. We will send this rule from GoBGP. So here, instead of source address, we should have a destination. Let's look at the downstream flow. We can see that traffic is also getting discarded here. And the downstream flow has come down to zero. Let's look at the show command. You can see that we have one more rule here, which matches the destination prefix of the subscriber IP. So, using BGP flow spec, we can manage the traffic from the network. We can rate limit it. We can discard it and there are a lot of other actions which we support too. So, now we've seen how RT Brick software can process different kinds of flow spec rules and act on them seamlessly over different open switch hardware. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions, why don't you get in touch with us? Or you can check out all of our technical documentation and visit us at rtbrick.com.